What is up guys? This is Rich with Red Phone Video and as you guys can see from the hoodie that I got on with the frozen jack, uh, it's Christmas time. Christmas has crept up on us again. Uh, another year has passed. A lot of shit has happened this year. Some good, some bad. I haven't really been feeling too festive this year. I'm really not in the Christmas spirit. I'm trying to be, trying to stay positive. It's a little hard these days. This is a time of year that's just kind of tough for a lot of people. It's kind of like Phoebe Kate said in Gremlins. While a lot of people are sitting around opening up their presents, most people are opening up their wrists. One of my favorite lines from that movie, by the way. But, um, tell you the truth, I haven't really felt like doing any videos lately because, I, you know, a lot of it is just Christmas-themed stuff and... Uh, you know, I haven't really had any good ideas, but I did get this book in recently and I figured, hey, this is kind of a Christmas tie-in thing. So might as well show you guys this uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night book, this uh, novelization of the classic 1984 Silent Night, Deadly Night film. And if you guys haven't seen the film, just stop this video and go watch the damn movie because Silent Night, Deadly Night is just a classic slasher. And, you know, it's about young Billy Chapman, uh, you know, this young boy who witnesses his parents that, you know, they get killed by Santa Claus and, or, you know, a guy dressed up as Santa Claus. And from that point, he has to go to an orphanage and he's abused by Mother Superior, uh, you know, and all these nuns. And it's kind of a critique on Catholicism and authoritarianism and, uh, you know, capitalism, whatever. I don't know. But it's a great slasher. And um, I was really excited to pick up this book because I'm a big fan of the film. I always have been. I saw the film probably at way too young of an age. But, um, you know, it, it didn't warp my mind too much. But I did see a lot of the, you know, the boobage in the movie. And, you know, there's a lot of uh, interesting gore sequences, you know, some death sequences. Anyway, to let you guys know where I picked this book up, I picked it up from StopTheKiller.com. And if you guys haven't heard of StopTheKiller.com, uh, they showed up on my Facebook feed one day, and I, that's how I found out about them. But they make board games and books based on slasher movies, so I thought that was pretty neat. So this Silent Night, Deadly Night novelization is by Armando Munoz, who also wrote um, a novelization for My Bloody Valentine last year. And I believe he's currently working on a novelization for the horror movie Happy Birthday to Me, the slasher film from 1981. So I'm definitely looking forward to digging into this guy's work. Uh, I've seen him on Facebook before, and he's done some other books. And uh, I think his work was critically acclaimed by Clive Barker. So I'm really looking forward to this novel. I think it's only like 300 and something pages, so... Should be able to fly through it pretty quick. I need to make more time to read, guys. I don't read shit anymore. And this is definitely right up my alley. Because I used to read all the Friday the 13th and the Halloween tie-ins. You know, all the novelizations of those. And I really get into that stuff. Because a lot of times those novelizations are way different from the movies. So you get a little more, you know, character development. You get some added scenes. So that's always a plus for me. And this is a first edition hardcover with the dust jacket. So I'm just going to take this off and show it to you guys. So that is the cover without the dust jacket. There's the front. There's the back with uh, Billy's axe. And then you have the cover with the artwork by Lynn Hansen. And if you guys haven't seen Lynn Hansen's artwork, check her out on Instagram. She does a lot of covers for other horror novels. So she's got some pretty badass art. So yeah, that is the slip cover or the dust jacket. Now, in this bundle that I pre-ordered from StopTheKiller.com, uh, you basically got, I think there's an extra scene in the book that won't be included in any subsequent release. So, that was pretty neat. And then, um, you do get this uh, book plate here with uh, some signatures. Now, these signatures, uh, you get one from the author, Armando Munoz, and then also the, uh, the executive producers from Silent Night, Deadly Night, uh, Scott Schneid and Dennis Whitehead. So there's that. And then you also get this collectible double-sided bookmark. So that, that's awesome. And I don't want to give you guys the impression that this thing is still available because I don't think it is. I pre-ordered this like months back. I want to say I pre-ordered this uh, during the summer. And I, th I think it's sold out now because I saw on eBay where somebody was trying to hawk it for a ridiculous, stupid ass price. But uh, originally it was available th for like 35 bucks. 
So I don't know. If you go to the website, I, I, like I said, I think it's sold out. But uh, if you want to get your hands on it, you know, I'm sure you can find some secondhand seller on eBay who might give it to you for a decent price. But um, but yeah, this was a really cool pickup. So, you know, if you're a fan of Silent Night, Deadly Night, which I am, I love the movie. There's so many just awesome moments in the movie. I mean, you have like Linnea Quigley's death scene, and I'm looking forward to seeing how they tackle that in the book. Then you have the whole decapitation scene where the guy's coming down the hill on the sled. Anyway, if you haven't seen it, I don't want to give all that shit away. But I just wanted to showcase this book for you guys. And uh, yeah, so that's it. This is the book. This is the book plate with the signatures and the bookmark, the double-sided bookmark. So, you know, I know I normally talk about movies and shit on here, but I just had to show this book off because this is definitely, uh, you know, it's going on the shelf. I don't know when I'm going to read it. Like I said, I'm man, I'm behind on reading. I'm behind on watching movies. I'm behind on a lot of stuff. I'm behind on making videos. But anyway, that is it, guys. You've been listening to Rich with Red Phone Video, and I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you like this kind of thing, if you like movie talk, if you like horror, you know, that's the kind of stuff I talk about. I talk about horror a lot. I talk about movies. I talk about physical media, all kinds of stuff on the channel. So if you like that kind of shit, be sure to stab the like button, subscribe to my channel if you'd like. More importantly, have a Merry Christmas, and I will catch you guys in the next video.